Hi everybody, so I hope you can hear me. I'm right off of Highway 30, about four miles past the Sauvy Island Bridge West. Um, I'm a couple miles away from Cornelius Pass Road, um, and I'm also about a mile away from the Logie Trail Road and Rainbow Lake. This is kind of the area where um, Terry Horman stopped on the side of the road to put the baby to sleep during her um, hour and a half that she was kind of missing and nobody knew where she was. Kyle Beloshi got this picture from a tipster and he was able to confirm with Maloma County Sheriff's Office that they were out here uh, doing an evidence search. It was also combined with a training exercise and it was related to the Kyron Horman case. The investigators couldn't disclose what they were looking for or why they were here off of Highway 30. This is also going on around the same time that Terry Horman is on the Dr. Phil show. show. So this is the picture that the tipster sent in and I just want to show you guys that I've been traveling around Highway 30 and I actually found where they were searching. That is across the street here. Um, so I'm going to travel over there. It's directly across the street from a golf course. I'll be right back. So I am standing where the white van was parked in the tipster's picture. There is a little bit of a ravine here off of Highway 30. Lots of bushes and stuff over there. The golf course is across the street. And then we have a railroad track that travels east and west and more ravine here. Now I'm parked over here and I'm going to walk across the railroad tracks real quick over to the uh, gate that's blocking you from going down that road. So this is the area. There is a road that goes down here um, that goes past the gate. Now, I was able to uh, photocopy a couple of things. So... This is where we are. And then you have this road that goes all the way down to a body of water. Now, the body of water is the Multnomah Channel. So, I don't know if this gate was here before, if you could drive down here or what, but the Multnomah Channel begins three miles upstream from the Willamette's main confluence with the Columbia. It traverses the west flank of Savi Island for 21 miles until it connects to the Columbia River um, up in St. Helens, Oregon. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this leads to a body of water. We have a pretty steep ravine down here and over here and then this is east railroad track and this is west and yeah they were here doing a training exercise using Kyron Horman's case for that training exercise, searching for evidence. There is a lot of property here. Me and my husband traveled up and down Highway 30 until we found the exact location where the tipster's picture was taken. And 
like I said earlier, it's only about four miles west of Savvy Island. We know they searched the top of Logie Trail Road, um, Rocky Point, south of Rocky Point, which is at the top of Logie Trail Road. That's only a mile from here. So it really looks like they are looking in this particular area for something. Were they looking for Chiron? I don't know if they were looking for Chiron, but we do know they were looking for evidence. So I just wanted to show everybody this area. Again, we are literally right off of Highway 30. And in the beginning of my video, I was parked off of Gallagher Road. I was so excited to find this because I've always wondered where that search was done. Again, it was done in September of 2016. So there's a phone number here I think I'm gonna call. I wanna try to find out when this gate was put up, um, if there was ever public access, like back in 2010. Um, if this road could have been driven all the way down to the river, I'm really curious about that. So I've got a little bit more detective work. I was out here yesterday. I didn't like my video. So I was able to print out that stuff because I was able to go home and look into some more information. So I was really glad to share that with you also. But uh, everybody have a good night. And I'm going to leave here and go home and do some grocery shopping. Have a great day, everybody.